have a, been evangelizing in, in, the, in the prison camps more than 10 years. Uh, thousands of people have heard the gospel. Uh, we have been uh, some kind of contact with uh, 400 people or more. And uh, there have been, became a Christians, I think something like 40 or 50 people. And uh, the big thing is that when people are getting free from labor camps or those, those prison camps, they don't have anything. And it's very easy to go back in the old style of life, uh, mostly in alcoholism, drug, that's their background. And uh, they don't have uh, documents and so on. And they're just, on the, they're just pushing them on the streets. We, we have been praying a long time to have a rehabilitation center. So now we, we had a, this rehabilitation center where those freed people can, came and they are living there something like half a year. And uh, we are helping them to, to get clothes, to get uh, documents, to get work and uh, to get ready in this society as, a, as a believers. We just had a confirmation for four people in Novosibirsk uh, who became a member of, of the church. And the last week we, we lost uh, uh, our rehabilitation center in Novosibirsk. That house where we're living, 11 people burned down. They are living now in, in, in church and we are trying to find them clothes and, and feeding and so on. So the basic things what people need in everyday life. And of course, it's a big hit for our work. But we are praying that we will get a new house but it's a, it's a big tragedy.